Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for the 5% series and how to set your team up for game week 35. Now we've not yet finished game week 34 so I can't go through the scores that you may have got or probably would have got. So I'm going to combine 34 and 35 together next week. So we're going to go straight into what transfers you could make and who your captain should be. Okay, let's go. So we're going to run through all the players in the system now. I'm going to identify which players you may want to consider transferring in, which players are okay to let go. The ones that I'm suggesting that are okay to let go, you only let go of them if you need the space or the money. There are no bad players in this system. If I give them a green card, I think they're a very good buy. Yellow means they're a good buy. Orange is okay to sell if you want to make space or get a bit of money. Red is a must sell, but we have no red ones this week because last week we did have James from Chelsea as red, but you should have got rid of him so he's no longer in our system. You should each have two of these six keepers. Pope, De Gea, Ramsdale, Kepa, Raya and Meslier. Of these, Pope doubles in 36, De Gea in 37, Kepa in 37. And I'm suggesting that Pope and De Gea are both quite good buys they're worth getting but only if you've got nothing else to do so if you've got two free transfers and you've got no other transfers to make this week then you might want to bring one of these two in I'm aware Kepa's got a double in game week 37 but it's not a great double so I think these two would be better to get however if you've only got one free transfer I wouldn't do a goalkeeper change this week or if you've got something better to do I wouldn't do a goalkeeper change this week and it might be it's not worth doing next week either. But So goalkeeper change only if you've got nothing else to do and you've got two free transfers. Regarding defenders, the expensive defenders, we have Trippier, Trent, Shaw, Van Dijk, Gabriel, Zinchenko, Stones, Chilwell. Of these, Trippier doubles in 36, Shaw in 37, Stones in 37, Chilwell in 37. I'm suggesting that Trippier is still a good buy because he doubles in a couple of weeks' time, game week 36. I'm aware he's done next to nothing the last few weeks, but it's still the case he's incredibly highly owned, and if he does something good and you don't have him, you're going to get stung really bad. Shaw is also a good buy worth having. Stones is probably a good buy and worth having. None of these are worth breaking your team over, though. I wouldn't take a hit to make any transfers this week. But if you've got two free transfers and they're burning a hole in your pocket... These are the ones you might want to get. Of the cheaper defenders, we have Canate, Estupinen, Botman, Fafana, Me, Pinnock, Aguard and Castagno. Estupinen doubles in 36, Botman doubles in 36. Estupinen doubles in 37, as does Fofana. And that's it for that, doublers. Estupinen is still a good buy because of the double game weeks and he can get assists sometimes and a remote chance of a clean sheet. He got an assist and a clean sheet in the current game week so far. Botman's an okay buy because he's got a double game week and he is quite cheap. However, there are several Newcastle players in the system and there may be other ones you'd rather have. I'm saying for Farner's okay. He's got a double that's not an easy double, but he is quite cheap. So it may be um, in order to shuffle things about, you end up by selling a more expensive defender to get in for Farner, which releases some money to buy someone else you particularly want. Hope that made sense. <laughs> I, I'm awful at getting myself tied in knots trying to explain things. Me and Pinnock, although they're perfectly good defenders, they don't have any great fixtures left. It's okay to move them on if you want to free up the space. You're not really going to be freeing up much money with those. Uh, the midfielders, the expensive midfielders, we have Salah, Fernandes, Grealish, Rashford, Saka, Gakpo, Odegaard and Madison. Of these, Fernandes doubles in 37, as does Grealish, as does Rashford. And I'm suggesting for these, Rashford is worth having. If you don't have him, it's worth bringing him in. Fernandes is good. I've got him as yellow because he is a bit more expensive. Grealish is yellow. He's cheaper than Fernandes, but I think Fernandes is better. But I wouldn't, for example, go selling Salah to get Fernandes, I don't think. Certainly not this week, anyway. Would I do? No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, but if you want to do that, that's fine. And I'm suggesting Madison as Orange. Now, Leicester, at the end of the season, they can play quite well. They are fighting relegation. It's completely conceivable. Madison would do well 
the next remaining four weeks. So you would only sell Madison to free up the space and release some funds. If you have other things to do or you like Madison, it's OK to hold on to him. The cheaper midfielders are March, Matoma, McAllister, Martinelli, Gibbs, White, Jensen and Somerville. Of these, the three Brighton boys have got two double game weeks coming up. So I'm saying March and Matoma are still good buys and McAllister's an OK buy. Now, the Brighton game we've just had at the weekend, De Zerbi, the manager, made loads of changes. And so March started and came off. Matoma and McAllister were on the bench and they came on. They all got one point. However, we thought this might happen. There could be lots of changes between now and the end of the season with Brighton just to rest some players. So I'd expect all three to be playing midweek. And then with the double game weeks left, it might be that none of them get 180 minutes. So there's a bit of a gamble there. So it's not worth breaking your team now to bring these in. But if you have nothing else to do, it might be you're going to be wanting them in. hope that made some sense. And they're doubling game week 37 is not great anyway. It's OK to sell Jensen. It's OK to sell Somerville. Again, you won't get a lot of money for these, but it will free up a space. The forwards, we have Haaland, the expensive ones, Kane, Tony, Darwin, Jesus and Felix. Haaland doubles in 37, Felix doubles in 37. So I'm saying Haaland's worth buying if you can get him in. He could still get the most points of all the players in the system between now and the end of the season. He's probably even worth taking a hit still to get in. Kane, although he gets a return, gets points every week it seems. He does take up a space. He does take up money. It may be you're going to want to sell him to get in a player that's worth having. The same with Darwin. Darwin, well, the same with Darwin. He's cost money taking up a space. But he's just not getting the minutes. So maybe next week he'll be red. I maybe should have made him red this week. But uh, if you've still got Darwin, he's definitely worth moving on to release the funds and release some space. Jesus is also worth moving on. Uh, Arsenal do have a couple of good game weeks in 37 and 38, so I don't feel pressurised to move Jesus on. But if it's going to help give you a few more games with bringing doublers in, then it's worth getting rid of Jesus. The same with Felix. Even though it's a double game week, he's just not performing. Felix and Darwin, both very good players, both doing nothing in the FPL. So they're both OK to move on. The reason Tony's not orange is he's not actually very expensive and he's still getting plenty of points. Of the cheaper strikers, we have Watkins, Isaac, Ings, Johnson and Mbuemo. Isaac doubles in 36 and I would say that Isaac is a good buy. It's worth getting him in if you can. Watkins, though he's been good the last two or three months, he does take up a space. He, I think he's the most expensive on this page. It's OK to move him on. So, for example, Watkins to Isaac, if that was a straight swap for you, is a perfectly good move. Ings, now that... He would have had his double game week out of the way once we get to game week 35. It's OK to move him on. He feeds up some space and possibly a little bit of money. And we're going to introduce Callum Wilson to the system now. We've got space to put him in. He's 7 million. He doubles in game week 36. So he's a good buy. And it may be that you can bring Wilson and Isaac in. So the Newcastle players in the system are Wilson, Isaac, Pope in goal, Trippier in defence. I think we might have Botman in this system as well. So um, of those, Botman's the least useful, but he's also the cheapest. If it was possible to have Wilson and Isaac up front with Haaland, that's a pretty good strike force. But it's not worth taking lots of hits to make that work. And we don't know who's going to be getting the most minutes out of Wilson and Isaac. Yesterday they did both play at the same time for a while. Uh, it may be they're just going to share the minutes, we don't know, but... Having both of them means you've got the striker base covered for Newcastle. We now look at the bench. We just set the four players on the bench and your other 11 players pick themselves. So the first goalkeeper that you see that you have, that's the goalkeeper on your bench. So if you have Meslier, he's on your bench. If you don't have him, but you have Raya, he's on your bench. If you have neither of those two, but Ramsdale, he's on your bench. Next would be Pope and then De Gea, which means if you have Kepa, you'll be playing him this week. Regarding the rest of the bench, I'm going to show you 16 players now. The first one you see goes to position 3 on your bench, the second one position 2, the last one position 1. So Somerville, if you have him, he goes on your bench. Then Fafana, Yao Felix, Aguard, Pinnock, Jensen, Mee, Castagna, Mbuemo, Zinchenko, Gabriel, 
Canate, Chilwell, Botman, Ings, Johnson. So as always, we do have some good players on the bench here. It's not a problem with this system because we do have cheap players, but we're often going to be having points on our play on our bench. But that's it. That's just the way it goes. And we have to be OK with that. Now, if after these 16 players, you still don't have three players on your bench, I suggest you put your cheapest defender that's not Trippier on your bench. And if you still don't have a full bench, then put your cheapest outfield player on your bench. Regarding the captains, I'm going to show you some players now and I suggest you choose your captains from these. I'm going to show you my preferred order, but you captain whichever one you want and you vice captain whichever one you want. So for me, Haaland should get the old mule hat. There he goes. But closely followed by Salah, he could still be perfectly good. Now this weekend we've just had, they both scored one goal and it was a penalty. So it's possible they blank, but then they could get loads of points. Rashford is also an okay choice for captaincy, so he gets the bonnet. And then same as last week, the three Brighton midfielders we have in our system, they're all okay as well. They could have a good week. It's so touch and go, it's hard to know of Brighton, but I'd be comfortable having any of these as my captain and vice captain. But Harlem would be my first choice, then Salah, but you do whatever you like. If you don't have two of these plays, you've only got one or maybe zero, then put your captaincy hat on your most expensive outfield player, or your vice captain hat, whatever, on the most expensive outfield player. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that all made sense. The reason I'm recording it today, by the way, is the last Premiership game this game week is on Thursday evening. I'm going out Friday evening. I've got to play a chess match. So I haven't got another time that I can make this. And today's a bank holiday. So it seemed to make sense that I could make it now. All right. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions about your team or uh, anything football related, I guess, put it in the comments or anything about theology or anything. I'm, I'm happy to give my uh, my opinion on any subject, I guess. Although it might not be very helpful and I'll, I'll tell you if I don't know about something. Okay, thanks. Bye.